So we're back on this Audi R8. I got no gauges hooked up. We're not gonna go off gauges today. Today we're just gonna look at some temperatures. See, we're totally, totally disconnected. My other gauges, everything, nothing is hooked up here. Let's do the PT chart thing. As you can see, I have two temperature probes hooked up. One comes back from the compressor and it goes in and then it goes back out and it crosses over and goes to the other condenser on the other side before it comes out liquid. So let's let's look at, uh, here's the PT chart, but let's go look at our temperatures right now. So coming back from the compressor, if this would ever focus in, come on, there we go. 135 degrees is going into the condenser and 129, let's make it even 130 uh, coming out. So we've got a five degree drop. So let's go over uh, to our PT chart. Let's go down to 130 degree, uh, 135. It's going in at 135. So at 135, if we use the PT chart and everything is correct, it's 213 PSI. Let me see if I could get closer there. 135, there's 135, follow the tip of my finger. Oh, oh yeah, that's better. Um, 135, 213 PSI. But coming out of the condenser, it's 130. So let's drop down to 30. 130, it's 198 degrees, uh, PSI. But wait a minute, we're all on the same circuit. How can it be two different pressures? Well, I'm gonna blow your mind a little longer, a little more. Let's go over here and take the temperature over here. So now we're gonna get into the secondary condenser and the secondary condenser also has a subcooling part into it. So let's see if I could get in here somehow. Where can I get? Am I get me in here? Oh, you bitch. You jacked off little piece of Audi. There we go. Now with these temperature camps, you see the metal? It has to be metal to metal contact. You cannot go over paint. So if you have paint, you gotta remove it. Otherwise you use the other contact type and you see it turns green when it's proper again. Uh, let me look it around so we can see it. And I just lost contact. There we go. The oxide on the aluminum breaking the conductivity. So it's green, you open it up, it turns yellow, you lost contact because your tips aren't touching. You get on the metal, clamp down, move it a little bit. You might have to use a little Brillo cloth clean off the metal because you need good contact metal to metal. So we're both green right now. Now let's see what we have. Let's go back to our uh, temperatures. Wow. Just by that pipe, well, it stayed about the same. One degree drop, maybe less than one degree, just transferring from here to here. I think they have rubber hose instead of all metal hose. Uh, okay, let's say 130 again. We know that, but we went to 120. We dropped 10 degrees, we went down to 120. So let's go back to 120. And if we look at 120, get back over here, there's 120. Wow, 171 PSI, if we're going by a PT chart at this point. But guess what, I'm gonna do another nine mine blow back there. Getting the temperature clamp and coming through the miles of metal tubing that go all the way back here when I can't do it again I burnt the hell out of my hand it's coming out 145 degrees at the pipe coming out on the back side behind not the compressor discharge 145 degrees Fahrenheit coming down now let's go to 145 degrees Fahrenheit 145 wow we're getting way up here 145 degrees 245 PSI. So that means if we use the PT chart by, you know, the guys say, oh, we're gonna apply a PT chart to cars. Well, you know, high side fittings are placed all over cars. Sometimes they're in the liquid line. Sometimes they're in the discharge line. Sometimes they're just before they come out of the condenser, after, before mufflers, after mufflers. Everywhere you put it, it will be different. There will be line loss, friction loss. You will have temper drop. So we're going from an extreme of 245 PSI at 145 degrees all the way down to 120 degrees 
at this part at the liquid line coming down 171 psi which one is correct so where the automotive manufacturers place their fittings makes a big difference on what you're going to see every time you have to go through restrictions and orifices just like carburetor jets or just like in hydraulics or just like in hydronics uh everything you have friction loss you have pressure drops it's the same thing here so you just seen the big difference we went from 145 degrees all the way down to 120 degrees we went all the way from the 120 degrees which is 171 psi all the way up to 245 psi it's all on the high side line i just want that to sink in some guys will go what the hell is that and other guys go oh my god i never knew that and other guys who will go why all right i'll see you guys later pt chart I, I hear youtube guys talk about the pt and i'll mention it every now and then but there's uh youtube professors out there that all they know is black and white numbers but they don't know where this information is coming from and they don't know the person who is feeding them information, where are they tied to in the system? Where you place your sensors or where the manufacturer puts that high side port or that low side port? Is that port off the evaporator before the accumulator? Is it on the accumulator? Is it after the accumulator? Is there a muffler going to the compressor in the high side and the low side port before and after the muffler will be different pressures you see your low side pressures can be way off too or way on or nowhere in the middle see you guys food for thought